All right, so uh, a bit of a different video today. Um, I'm gonna build a computer. Uh, this is the computer for my daughter. Um, so we're gonna be uh, unboxing all the cool stuff and we're gonna be putting it together, put it into the case and uh, yes, um, Hopefully thereafter, she'll be able to enjoy gaming on something other than a laptop. Um, I do have some string. Uh, I'm not going to need that. Uh, I have a paper clip. I'm not going to be need needing that either. Uh, purple duct tape. Uh, not going to be needed for the uh, build. Uh, I didn't ever use it to get set up here. Uh, my camera up there is uh, literally just uh, taped to the uh, frame of the window. Um, that was the only way I could figure out to get the best coverage um, on uh, what I have here, um, but I won't be using it for the actual build. Uh, screwdrivers. Uh, something to cut the tape with, I guess. And uh, maybe some of those clamshell packages if you get that. Uh, so that will be handy. Um, screwdrivers, uh, not a whole lot I uh, need those for. Uh, attaching the um, uh, heatsink to the CPU probably. And uh, attaching the M2 drive to the uh, motherboard. Uh, smaller screwdriver in case. Uh, all right, so I want to explain this desk first. Uh, my desk is glass. Um, I put this big cardboard on top of it uh, because cameras having difficulty um, focusing with glass. Uh, so they don't know if they're going to focus on what's on top of the glass or what's below the glass. And, uh, uh, there's nothing below the glass that you want to see anyways. So I think we should, uh, just get started. Um, I'm going to go with uh, um, what's almost the same system board as what I have in my computer. Um, this is the AB350. Um, it's the uh, AMD version of um, what I have, pretty much. Uh, it's a... Um, It's a small system board, obviously, as we can see. So we're going to use the sharp tool to cut the tape here. Out of the box. See what they got for us in here. All right. We got the... We got the thing, and uh, we got some uh, SATA cables. Uh, we got some uh, SATA cables. And we got the thing for the back. We got drivers, and uh, we got the manual now. Uh, hello. What is this? Ah, it's a sticker. Uh, it's a sticker for my... There we go. Sticker for the case. We can put that on the case. That's awesome. Uh, so I haven't uh, looked at the manual. Uh, you should look at the manual before you do this. Uh, I do not expect there to be any huge difference here with... Uh, regards to any installation 
uh, the things to look out for is um, putting the CPU in the correct way. Um, choosing the best slot for uh, your video card and um, and there is uh, plugging all the cables uh, what's called the front panel header uh, to the um, motherboard that is always a pain in the neck other than that uh, it shouldn't be too much trouble we'll keep the manual handy uh, we'll put the box away Uh, and we'll have a look at the the board itself. Uh, the cables we can put away. Uh, this will have to go, and this will have to go. get rid of that bag that's gonna be no all right uh so here's the board um not really a whole lot to say about that it is a small uh, micro atx board uh color coded the memory slots uh that makes it easier for uh, setting up dual channel Got some spiffy uh, heat sinks over here. Uh, all right, so there's only two. Um, there's only two SATA slots here, and I suspect that SATA zero will be disabled once we install. Uh, the M2 drive. Uh, pretty sure that's what they're going to say in here. Uh, onboard graphics. Installing the memory. Installing. Installing. Kernel and headers. Yeah, there is no word on M uh, two installation. You fan bad. Then I have to have the manual handy. This is, and then it goes straight into BIOS setup. Driver. Regulatory notices. Not a word. And the SATA connectors conform to the SATA six gigabit standard and are compatible with SATA three gigs and SATA one and a half. That's all it says. Okay, maybe I missed it somewhere. There we go. All right. Uh, M2F 32G M2 socket 3 connector. There we go. The M2 connector supports M2 SATA SSDs and M2 PCIe SSDs and supports SATA RAID configuration through the AMD chipset. Please note that the M.2 PCIe SSD cannot be used to create a RAID array. Uh, 
uh, installation notices. Yeah, uh, let's make that in dark gray with a darker gray. Uh, due to the limited number of lanes provided by the chipset, the availability of the SATA connectors may be affected by the type of device installed in the M.2 connector. Okay. Uh, A SATA three zero and one. If I install an M dot two PCIe X four SSD, the A SATA three zero. Oh wait. Am I missing something here? I seem to be listing way too many SATAs on here for this to be... Um... And also... I'm not sure if it indicates that both of the SATAs may be disabled depending on the type of device install there let's get the thing uh this is the uh, m.2 it's gonna be the first thing we put on here assuming that i'm capable of opening it up This is the coolest thing in hard drives. This is literally all there is. Um, okay. This is 500 gigs. And we're going to see if we can find some more information on exactly what this is. Uh, all right, so there isn't really much. All right, so that's uh, that's two pages. Everything else is just uh, uh, page one is warranty. Uh, avoid. Do not put in coffee. Okay. All right. There is nothing on here that says anything specific about it being one thing or the other. It would really kind of suck if uh Uh, if both of these SATA ports uh, were to be disabled,
but let's hope that that is not the case. No. Try and push this in. And gently, but with force. Actually, a small screwdriver because it seems to be overkill on this. All right. Now, that is the installation of the hard drive. Um, This is the uh, easiest installation ever. Um, very, very, very handy. All right, so these are on here. We can't put on the, well, we can put in the memory. Uh, the memory will probably be next. Uh, Actually, let's uh, let's do the CPU. Uh, I'm gonna try and uh, keep things a little bit clean in here. I'll make it a little bit easier to work, as well as uh, my wife won't kill me uh, when she gets home. All right, so we got a uh, system board. I uh, got a manual. It's very important to keep the manual around. Uh, uh, this is the AMD uh, Ryzen 3. Uh, this is uh, supposed to be uh, very good. Uh, it's a... Uh, Is it eight cores? Box includes a processor. Okay, that's great. Um, I think it's eight core. Okay, it's four core. All right, it's a quad core uh, processor. Uh, it's twelve hundred. It's an AMD. Ryzen 3 1200, uh, 3.1 gigahertz. Uh, uh, should be good for my daughter's gaming needs. Um, also, the, uh, the cost uh, on this is fairly reasonable. All right, so there's the CPU itself. The rest of the box is for the fan uh, cooling. Um, I'm gonna leave this box over here. Um, not sure what this is gonna be. They're saying that it's a sweet little thing. Okay. Um, I really, really hope that there is, it looks like it, um, it's a pre-applied, um, thermal paste. It's not the greatest, uh, I don't think I have any just lying around in my stash of spares. 
So we're going to use the pre-applied paste. All right, we're going to have a quick look at the CPU. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out. Um, there are some uh, pre mounted brackets here that looks to be just snap, snap on for uh, this. Um, but this thing got uh, screws that needs to be. Uh, well, put in there. So we probably have to take those off and replace with this. And that's all right. See what the installation instruction says. All right. So they don't write these instructions for people with... Um, people of my age. Oh, my stupid headset is getting caught on everything here. I did also use the uh, purple duct tape to fix my... Uh... All right, so... Uh... All right, uh, so this is a generic installation instructions for like uh, all the AM CPUs, AM, uh, AM3s, AM4s, and uh, E34. We're gonna have a look and see if it says anything. Uh, uh, make sure the motherboard supports the CPU. Always turn off the computer. Ah, okay. Okay, pin one of the CPU. Da, 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 da. Calling memory. All right. Um, but yeah, these are definitely going to have to come off um, in order to uh, fit the, the heat sink. Uh, CPU itself. Uh, very shiny. Uh, and there's a little sticker you can put in your case. So, uh, we're gonna take these off. We're gonna pop this guy sucker out of here. All right, so this is uh, gonna be a little difficult probably to see on camera. There's like a million little, um, not literally a million, but close to uh, tiny little feet on the bottom of the CPU. And there's a little triangle in one corner 
See, I don't know if get close enough to the camera and get it focused. There, um, all right, so it's kind of difficult to focus, but there's a little uh, triangle on that corner. That's let's see. All right, so it adds out of focus, but there is a little golden triangle on one corner, and. There is a, a little triangle on the corner here. And that seems to see how that's going to sit. Okay, now we have a CPU installed on there, and it's going to get some of the humidity fingerprints and crap off of here. All right. So that's this part. Uh, this thing is going to sit on like that. Uh, or like that. Uh, that's gonna be a cable, and we're gonna just think about how to do. It. If I do it this way, it's gonna be like that. If I do it this way. Cables just go straight down to this. All right, that's probably going to be the tidiest way of doing it. And uh, I'm going to try and get my face down here to have a look. All right, so this is the most violent part of this assembly. It's going to be screwing these guys in. I'm going to put in a little bit on each corner. And it's like spring loaded here, so it's I'm sorry, I haven't, uh, I wasn't watching, uh, I should be watching, uh, should be watching chat. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, showing up, guys. Uh, um, all right, we're going to just plug, plug the thing in. There's no need to uh, not do this. A CPU fan. So uh, there, there's not much we can do with the cable. Uh, we can probably try and tie it up a little bit, but uh, it, what it is.
All right, so um, memory All right, so this is uh, clamshell. I'm gonna see if you can get it open without. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Oh, look at that. Everybody's giving me stickers. All right, I'm getting stickers from everywhere. There's no installation instructions. For this, uh, the instructions are actually in here. Uh, installing dual channel memory. Channel A is DDR2 and DDR4. And channel B is 1 and 3. So that's the red and the black. And a little bit more. Oh, holy, there's a lot more weight to it. All right, so uh, 2 and 4. I wonder, do we have to do... Uh, I'm not sure if you have to do like channel A first and then channel B because um uh, Holy moly. Come on, man. All right. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to have to go to the recycling center later on. All right. So uh, channel A is two and four. All right. We're going to. Okay. So uh, two and four are the the black ones all right so let me see it's gonna be a tight fit isn't it i'll tell No. All right. Um, there's uh, <laughs> very little space between the the memory and the side of the fan. Uh, So it, this is going to be the trickiest one to try and snap in. All right. I'm just going to. All right. So one is shorter than the other. I, it's, it's hard to see. And uh, yeah. So it goes in this way. I'm going to snap that in place. Everything is in place. Um, so this is the hardest one to install because of the proximity to the fan. Um, but there it goes. Um, and I did, I did get the, I did get the red ones. It goes with the black and red of everything. Um, there is a window in the case. Um, so all of this will be visible. I haven't bought any LED stuff, um, for it. Uh, I didn't want to. I don't know. You know, I, I didn't want to go overboard with the fancy stuff. I personally don't really uh, want to see uh, windows on cases. My case was purchased specifically for not having a window. Uh, also, it looks awesome. Um, this case also looks great. Um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, uh, but it's still small. 
ish. It's a micro ATX uh, mini tower or something like that. Um, so it's not not too big. So we got another sticker. Uh, I got a Ryzen sticker too. These are like, uh, you know, you're on Xbox, you get achievements. And if you're on PlayStation, you get trophies. These are like little trophies. All right, I got uh, uh, three stickers so far. I don't know if the other ones, uh, the other stuff is going to get us any uh, stickers. There. Um, so this is now technically like 75% done. Um, the remaining part is to uh, install this in the case, um, put in the video card, uh, uh, which I have here. Um, we're going to move the system board a little bit out of the way. Uh, the video card is also made by uh, Gigabyte. Uh, I've used these guys in the past. Uh, this is the 1060, and you can't see it because it's way over there. There we go. Uh, this is the uh, GTX 1060. This gives uh, my daughter a fancier car than me, uh, which means I am eligible for a GTX 1080 upgrade on my computer for my birthday. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, uh, again, um, I wanted to be a little budget minded, so I got the 1060 rather than the 1080. Uh, this should still uh, let her play Skyrim on Ultra. Uh, or, I don't know, uh, her Pokemon emulator or whatever it is she wants to play. All right. We got a quick installation guide. And a driver disk. A driver disk is really not necessary in these uh, internet enabled times. Uh, well, we have it. We're going to use it. All right. Again, um, this is not. This is not. This is not written for people who uses glasses. Um, the installation instructions in English is right here. It is uh, this section right there. Hardware installation, six steps. Software installation, three steps. Step one, make sure the computer is off. Step two, do not cover in coffee. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, we won't be needing that. But I will need uh, coffee. Uh, this is uh, coffee. Hang on. All right, uh, video card. I'm not sure what gigabyte qualified means, but there we go. Uh, these video cards these days, no sticker. Uh, it is uh, a small board hiding behind here. Uh, a 
big giant uh, heat sink uh, and two big fans just to cool this sucker off all right you can see the same thing here uh, that's just a shield on the uh, with a shield on the thing we'll leave that on for now um, Um, circuit board, all the chips and everything else is kind of covered uh, by the heat sink. I uh, got some uh, copper pipes. Uh, this is the two fan unit. There's a three fan unit, which is a lot bigger. I got, as I said, I got this one. Um, it's heavy. Uh, I, I got this one. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper than the 1070 and the 1080. Um, so saving a little bit of money, sacrificing a little bit of performance. Uh, HDMI and DVI. So we got options for monitor out. I haven't actually bought a monitor yet, so uh, I don't even know what to put about that little slot for uh, airflow and that's the video card it's gonna go gonna go all right uh, yeah it's gonna have to go there there's no other option all right so uh, that's cool. Looking forward to getting around to that. Um, I have to put it away though, um, because the case is big and it's going to need uh, most of the space. Um, what else do we have? It's like uh, Santa's workshop in here. All right, so uh, this this is very much like Christmas. Uh, very generic box. Uh, this is a Seagate Barracuda. Uh, two terabyte drive. Manual. Yeah, I thought the I thought the channel stuff is pretty much the same. Um, doing uh, the channels versus just sticking in randomly, uh, it it doubles the bandwidth, which means data can go faster. Um, I didn't say much about the memory. Uh, it's a DDR4 3000. Again, there's um, uh, picking what you get is um, a little bit about uh, cost versus performance. So the um, the DDR4 3000s is not the fastest one around, uh, but you know there's. I don't. I don't think the memory speed is going to be a bottleneck. Uh, this is a standard, um, just regular old style run-of-the-mill SATA three hard drive. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm showing my age here. Uh, this is a hard drive that I bought for one of my older computers that I never got around to installing. Uh, this is uh, enhanced IDE. 
It's 320 gigabytes, which was huge back then. Uh, never got around to installing it. Uh, now I have no use for it, so it's just uh, taking up space in my closet. Uh, but kind of cool. Uh, this is a SATA 3. It's a lot faster than, of course, uh, IDE. Uh, I am worried about uh, the wording on what's going to get disabled because... Uh, of the um, uh, M.2, uh, this is technically not a disk drive because there's no disk. Um, so this we're going to call it a storage device. Uh, this will be for the operating system and uh, maybe a few other um, uh, critical software components. Let's call it that. Uh, not really sure what that would be at this point, but uh, stuff that needs fast access. Uh, with this thing, the computer will boot in uh, under 10 seconds. Uh, that means uh, fully loaded Windows 10 to the desktop, like boom. Uh, it is, uh, it, it, it's, it's really, really awesome. Uh, I love my uh, M.2 on my uh, computer, the one used for the streaming here. Uh, so this is going to go into the case, uh, and I'm going to plug it into um, number one rather than zero. My understanding is that zero is going to get disabled because of this, but one is not. And I'm not seeing any other SATA. Uh, I'm not seeing any other SATA ports on this. So oh, it's not like I can uh, choose to plug it in anywhere else. Um, there are, of course, the option of... Um, ...having an external USB drive, that would kind of suck. But um, if that's what we have to do, then that's what we have to do. Uh, I will have... Uh, one PCI slot available. And I might have to get a small SATA controller for that. If I can't put the drive in. Uh, where's the last piece? The last piece that's going to go in. I'm going to have to clear off some of this space in a little bit. The last piece that's going to go in. Uh, is a dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. Um, there's no network connections in the house, uh, so she's gonna have to rely on Wi-Fi. And that is simply gonna be a card. And it's going to be an uh, installation guide, which I'm assuming is going to be a long piece of paper. Okay, it, it all right, so, and it actually is four steps. That is pretty cool. Um, if you need this, um, uh, I don't know, keep it. If not, I, I don't need it. Um, Actually, I may need it because there is a few extra things on here. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Wow. All right, that kind of sucks. Um, uh, it has to be plugged into the USB. Um, uh, it has to be plugged into the USB port. So it would go, uh, it would go in like here, like so, and then I had to have a cable from here and into the, uh, uh, USB port over here. And that means, of course, I can't plug in the front USB ports on the case. Oh, wait. Uh, yes, I can. There's two more USB uh, headers right here, the white ones. All right. So that's uh, crisis averted, I hope. Uh, plug into F USB connector on the motherboard. All right. Don't need that many. Uh, so, uh, I suspect those are USB, uh, two and that one is USB 3.0. Uh, so we'll see what we need for the front of the case. If it's this one or this one. But there is enough USB connectors. Uh, there's USB connectors uh, on the back as well. And that's the... Uh, that's the Wi-Fi antenna. Gonna hook that up. And... Oh no. Did not get a sticker with that either. It looks like we're going to be stuck with the three stickers, and that's going to be it. Uh, okay. I'm going to put some of this stuff aside because I have to put the case up here so we can uh, uh, start putting everything together. Uh, we'll have to see what... What we'll do first. All right. Uh, the other, the last thing, power supply. Uh, this is uh, EVGA uh, 550B3. Uh, it should be fully modular. Uh, so we only need to put in the cables we need. We can save the rest for a rainy day. Uh, makes cable management a little bit easier. In that there will be less cables to manage. And let's see if we can figure out how to open this thing. All right, come on, there we go. And it's still not making it easy. Oh, there is an installation manual. Screws, uh, cables, more cables, lots and lots and lots and lots of cables. Uh, that's going to be for, uh, uh, all of our stuff. Uh, uh, we'll figure out what we need once we get the case in. Uh, that is of course the big, uh, motherboard and cable. Uh, 
That looks like some SATA power cables. Okay. And, uh... Yeah. More stuff. Um, that's the power plug itself. Bubble wrapped power supply. Do not expect this to be anything out of the ordinary. Like, uh, well, you know, it's a good power supply. Uh, has an external power switch, so you can. Uh, you turn it on and off. Uh, this is uh, bronze certified uh, rather than gold or silver or platinum. Um, it's fully modular. You just plug in the cables you need into here. Uh, they are suitably labeled. A motherboard. Uh, CPU, a video card, and uh, SATA power. Good stuff, good stuff. We got that, we got that. All right. Those are the SATA cables. Uh, we're going to put the video card away safely. The power supply. Uh, and the system board. All right, let me put that over there. A little bit of uh, maintenance here while we try and figure out how to fit all this. Now, the big thing is the Yeah, um, for the motherboard uh, or in the BIOS, I expect there to be an auto setting, uh, which sometimes defaults to a slower speed. Uh, and then there is a uh, manual setting, so you should be able to set it, <sighs> set it yourself. All right, so the case is... Uh, uh, thermal take uh, core v21 won't fit in the camera uh, quite it's uh, it's almost a cube um, and I'm going to have to probably stand for the rest of this stuff. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we're going to move our stickers. Uh, those are uh, going to have those. All right. So uh, there's this. Uh, it's kind of cool. And now I can't get it off. There's a filter mat on top of the um, uh, air intake. And it feels magnetic. So you can just uh, peel it off, clean off any... Uh, uh, dust and crap that settles. Um, the same on the side. Just peels right off. Held in place by the forces of magnetism. Um, the back side. Uh, power supply. Uh, this is where all the connectors come out. Uh, here's for the um, uh, cards. Access to that. Um, not sure. Uh, cables in and out. We're going to have to unscrew some of this to get to the inside. Uh,
Okay. So the the manual is on the inside. So you have to get in to figure out how to get in. Uh, everything here is uh, thumb screws. Uh, so we don't have to have a screwdriver to get in here. We just need to pop them out. Now, on this side, uh, there is a window. And it has a protective thing on it. We're going to take that off. And it looks like that's one on the outside too. Going to peel that off. All right. Uh, so there's a, a glass, that's a panel. So you can see inside to all the Glorious internals. All right, so the inside of the case, there is a manual. Uh, standoffs, screws, brackets, and various plugs. Uh, and then here, all the glorious cables. Uh, this is the USB uh, 3 stuff. Let's see if I can turn this around. See here. All right. So there's no, uh, there's nothing on the front of this. There's no front access to anything. Uh, on the side, uh, there's a power button. Power button. There's a disc light and a power light, a USB ports, and microphone and headphone, and uh, that feels like the reset button. Uh, we'll figure that out. Maybe it's the turbo button. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Uh, these are the evil little. These are evil. I hate these guys. Um, uh, hard drive LED. Uh, reset switch. Power switch. Uh, power LED plus and minus. I don't know why they're split up. I guess that's because you never know. Uh, um, so that's not so bad. Uh, audio. I like these. These are these are fairly well labeled. Uh, this is probably the fan, uh, and this is the two USB ports. Okay. On the bottom. Uh, this appears to be for the fan, for the power supply, uh, with a dust filter. So I'm guessing that would imply the fan should suck air in and the dust will be, uh, uh stuck on the filter. You can just pull that out and uh, clean it. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, um, these are uh, for hard drives. Uh, they seem to be just uh, uh, slide out brackets. Uh, you attach your hard drive here and then just uh, slide it in. Uh, so they are making it easier for us. A little difficult for me because, uh, uh, you know, it's an awkward ankle. Uh, 
the top also comes off. I don't need, I don't know if I need to. Uh, and on the other side, yeah, we've seen the other side already. There's that, that thing. And we can take off this side as well. Because we are going to need to get in here and do some stuff. And I will also take the top off. Okay, I'm going to put the top over here just so that it's different. Um, all right, so I'm going to move that in. Um, these brackets appears to be for, I don't know if they are attached. Yeah. Okay. There's this uh, clip thing on my headset that keeps getting caught in that stupid cardboard thing. All right. Uh, this is for attaching, uh, fans. They seem to be, uh, uh, movable. So you can fit them in different locations. Um, um, it also supports uh, different sizes. Um, not going to be installing any fans up here. So that's not going to be... something we need to worry about right now. All right, so we got a uh, manual. Uh, we got some brackets. Uh, we'll figure out what that is. Uh, tie wraps for cable management. I'm gonna try and make everybody proud. Uh, all right, so that's uh, screws to do what? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, and I guess these are the standoffs and the screws to attach. Um, all the stuff we need, fan screws, hard drive screws. All the good stuff. So I guess this is where most of the fun starts. Uh, we're going to take the cables and we're going to put them away in there. And... It's kind of fun. Side panel disassembly manual. It's inside the case. Not able to figure it out. You cannot get to. All right, so one of these, uh, one of these brackets is called a PSU rubber. And I think it's the big one. Uh, 
I'm not sure what that last piece is. So we're gonna put the power supply in first. Uh, uh, power supply. I'm gonna go. Let me see if I can turn things around. Ah, stupid thing on the microphone. All right. So the power supply is. Uh, this is. Uh, that's not how it goes. All right. It's gonna have to go in from the. Uh, it's gonna have to go. Okay. Cables. Let me get the cables out of the way. Yeah, the power supply is gonna have to come in from the side. No. Power supply is gonna have to come. Okay, uh, looks like we have to take things apart a little bit more. Okay. No. All right. What does that mean? Uh, do I have to take the whole thing apart to get that thing? Because it doesn't... It doesn't seem like that unscrews. That does not unscrew. Uh, doesn't help. Um, that does not work. That does not work. The bottom does not come off. And that does not work. How am I supposed to get that in there? This is supposed to fit. I did not get any. Um, I did not get any uh, compatibility issues. Let's see if I can take the front off and get. Uh, All right. <clears throat> uh, place the power supply in proper location and secure it with screws. Oh, that is really, really helpful, guys. That is uh, helpful. Thank you, Thermal Take. All right, so a stupid thing on the microphone is getting stuck again. Just there are some uh, things here to unsnap something, but not sure what. Push that. That come off? No, it does not. And now my microphone is stuck again.
mini i2x micro atx even if i unscrew that that's not gonna help that is on that is on i don't not see any way of getting the power supply in guys This is supposed to fit in there. There's just no way of getting it in. I mean, if I could... If I could squeeze it in here. That's the only way this is gonna go is if I manage to uh, get that through square. Okay. Aha! We're banging on all the cylinders now. Ah, okay, I am getting very frustrated with my microphone. More so than the stupid power supply. Alright, so there's nothing wrong with the power supply. Uh, it's just an awkward... Um... Way of getting it in. Uh, uh, basically, I had to twist it in through um, through this. Uh, I put it in sideways, which um, wasn't the best. But there we go. All right. Uh, where is the bag with all the screws? All the screws. All right, I'm going to have to turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move the... Uh, motherboard. <laughs> Just because we do not need any additional uh, pain. Okay. All right. So we got screws. We gonna. We're going to figure out what it is we need for the power supply. I think it's these guys. Where is the... Where's my phone? Ah, uh, when you need more light. Uh, bring a flashlight. All right, here we go. Let's see. Put my phone in like that. I'm gonna test this screw. I think this is the right ones. Might not be. There we go. 
power supply screws. Uh. I'm gonna put that forward. All right, so there's the complication here is uh, of course getting the screws. So what I need to go. Guess once the first one is in. Gonna be better off. Alright, so there goes screw number one. I was trying to get a second camera set up as well, but... You know, it's it didn't quite work out. All right, we're gonna loosen that first screw a little bit so we have some flexibility. Hey, we got two. Need three hands for this. Got three screws in. We can claim victory. I realize you're not really seeing much right now. I'm sorry, but I you know that this thing just needs to happen from this angle. No. Uh, next time I'm doing this, I'm going to have a freaking mi wireless microphone. Insane. Not only is this thing on my head getting hot and sweaty. Okay, is that not... All right, uh, power supply is now in the box. We have uh, enough room in there, so we should be able to get in with cables. Um, but we may want to... Uh, go ahead... Uh, and take care of that. So let's see. Um, the manual here for installing the power supply says to put the supply in and then put the uh, Put the PSU rubber on bracket. Secure bracket with the case by locking hook. All right. 
So there's a bracket. There is. Uh, so I guess these are the PSU rubber. Uh, like little rubber feet. And we dropped one. So I suspect these are going to go on here. Uh, so there's this bracket, and then there's these little rubber feet that's going to go on here. All right, this is going to break. Going to break before it goes through that hole. Okay. And once they're through, I uh, just pull them in, they'll snap in place. Okay. I have to admit, I have no idea where this thing is supposed to go. I do not see anywhere around the CPU where this would uh, where I could lock this in place. Uh, the manual doesn't really give any clues. I mean, there's no way. That's not an option. This is not an option. That's not an option. I'm like fresh out of options. Um, I don't know where this one goes. Doesn't go here. Doesn't go here. Doesn't go here. Doesn't go there. That has nothing to do with the PSU. There's a locking hook and a hole. There's no locking hook and a hole. What the hell? There is a second, uh, where did it go? Where is this thing? Does this attach to this somehow? Is that what I'm implying? And then this hook? See, there's a... Uh, uh, there's a little latch there, which is, I guess, what they call the locking hook which goes in a hole. Not that hole, that's for sure. And And if I flip it up, there's no, I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing anywhere to attach it to. 
thermal tank, your follow it. This bracket does not have any holes to attach to. And if it does, your manual does not really say where it is. All right. There is no holes here on this panel. And I mean, I can't have, there's nothing going up here. Um, I don't see what this has to do with the power supply. It doesn't go here. It can't go there because that's where the system board is going to sit. Uh, throw it away. I'm not going to sweat that. There's no way. All right. Uh, one last possibility. The underside. Uh, no. There's nothing on the back. There's nothing on the front except a do not mix with water. There's nothing for that thing to attach to. All right. So uh, what they have given us is a little inscription right here uh, uh, for these uh, uh, standoffs, uh, they have an M or an I on it, or both. So that's where the standoffs are going to go for the motherboard. Uh, that's a lot of standoffs, and there's no standoffs. There's only two standoffs in there. There is technically a hole there, but I mean, if this was to be there, then that should have been put in before the power supply was put in. And I'll be damned if I'm going to put that in now. Well, wait. Okay, great. And then this goes in. Okay, so I did find it. Uh, I'm going to call all kinds of BS on that. All right, so this, this is a bracket that's going to hold up the power supply. All right. This is uh, all right. Thermal take if you're watching, either now or later. Don't really care. You should probably tell people to put this bracket on before they put the freaking power supply in. Otherwise, they're never gonna get it to work. Okay, I'm going to have all sorts of headaches trying to make this work.
Okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to push this back so you guys can see a little bit more. Um, all right, so this is what I'm working on right here. Uh, I did find a place where it's going to go in. It's, um, of course, it's on the back side of this, but it's on the, uh, so I got to squeeze that in uh, past the power supply. And I'm going to uh, really work on getting that in there. And the other part I had to squeeze in under the power supply. Which means I'm going to have to loosen up these screws so I can lift up the tail end on this. All right, uh, thermal take. This is really bad in your manual, I got to say. All right, so I loosen up the power supply as much as I dare. Okay. So oh, we're going to stuff this in and under. This is going to take away some of the vibration and the rattle. I can't see. So it's like if I lift that up, then that thing rotates. If I don't lift it up, then I can't get the thing under. I can't get the thing under because I can't get my fingers under because that thing is going to go in there. All right, thermal take. I'm going to have to take the PSU out. This is all on you. This is all on you guys. All right, the first step in your manual should be figure out where that bracket is going to go. I'm going to show that properly. And uh, what's, what's up with this? All right. Uh, what, have I stripped the threads on this now? Okay. All right, so this is going to be all sorts of fun. All right, but this goes in here and then down there and there's a little screw in there for this okay so um What is that? Mm. Guys? Uh. All right. 
So, the bottom comes out. So that's how the power supply goes in, all right? So that's going to make everything easier because now I can uh, uh, get this off. All right. Good afternoon, Commander Binary. All right. Let's do this the right way. Power supply goes in uh, real easy. Uh, this is the um, this is the bottom uh, power supply. Just goes uh, right in like that. Sweet. Get only known the trouble we had. And all right, I'm gonna have to use paper clip and. Um, string soon to fix my uh, microphone cable as I move around where is my screwdriver all right so uh, that does make things better Uh, it does make access to the power supply a lot easier. <laughs> All right, can I do this? No, oh, too short. All right. Hopefully that will help. All right, we're just going to screw the power supply back in. I'm pretty sure that one screw is stripped. So that's not offering more than just moral support. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure that one is also kind of busted. All right, so that's not thermal take. That's uh, uh, EVGA. So now the magic bracket that was causing severe headaches goes in here and under there and provides Additional support for the power supply. Uh, it's going to have to flip this thing back over. To see if I can get. Uh, is to go in there like so doesn't doesn't feel very secure there is like a locking thing on that but it doesn't really feel like it's lo locking very much I'm gonna try and not put my head in front of the camera here all of this stuff is ugly enough all right all right uh, so, uh, uh, read the manual. 
do all the things. All right, so there's uh, plenty of space for putting the system board in now because everything here is wide open. Gonna leave the bottom off, uh, mostly because I don't need to put it on right now. Right now, uh, that will also help getting the uh, the drive in. Uh, let's put the drive in before anything else, uh, simply because uh, it is on the bottom. Um, Okay, so we're gonna take one of these out. I still feel like there isn't. It still feels like dark in here. Uh, okay. So. Uh, there's a little. Uh, holes on there to uh, on the other side too no all right just gotta get the uh all right i guess it's sort of All right, that was easy. Well, the uh, the bracket just basically snaps in place uh, on the hard drive. So there isn't really anything else you need to do. Um, other than uh, putting the thing back in. I'm going to cheat and use the flashlight. I it's um, It looks bright enough on camera it really should here too but i just cannot i can't see all the things i'm gonna slide that in on the top one basically so uh, we got the hard drive in uh, we're gonna need a power cable for that we'll worry about that later uh, should be plenty of time to deal with that. All right, so we got all these cables. All right, we're gonna stuck them, stick them underneath for now. And there's the system board gonna go in uh, like so and uh, just gonna make sure that everything uh, lines up uh, we do have these panels uh, hold on I'm gonna put that here all right, so there's these panels. There's two of them, it looks like. Okay, no, there's only one. All right. Uh, so this have uh, just all the markings on it. And it goes uh, for the system board. Uh, it just sits right in front here, uh, like that. And so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're gonna put uh, this in. Gonna be here. Gonna be in from the back side. Uh, 
this is one of the things to be a little careful with. Um, there's sometimes sharp edges, uh, either on the panel or on the case. Uh, so you can get, um, it can get, um, uh, bloody. All right, uh, we got the cables out of there again. Um, let's see, so where is everything then is that? And uh, all right, so power supply is in. It's uh, kind of, sort of secure. The best I can do. Um, the system board goes just uh, right in here. Like this, just needs a little uh, tuck in uh, against uh, the panel over here. This has a nice little um, um, I was going to say bubble wrap, but that's not what it is. And then we're just going to screw the motherboard in place. All right. First screw. Uh, so we're not going to put the, we're not going to screw in these things. Um, too hard uh, to begin with. I'm not going to tighten them all the way. Uh, not sure that's the right screw. Okay. Because we need to be able to kind of shuffle up a little bit to make make all of these okay all right, so there is a bunch of screws that needs to go in Uh, so once things are sort of in place there, it gets fairly easy to, fairly easy to do. Oh, geez. Just, uh, leaning forward a little bit too much. sliding in so uh okay all right um uh, all right Um, there's a few more things we need to put in here. Really feels like, um, uh, Seems like there's too few screws for all of this. 
All right, so I know we put the CPU fan in. It's going to be a little bit, not the fan, but the cable here. It's going to be a little bit in the way, but not too much. All right, so I need uh, one more. You kidding, kidding me right now? There we go. And there's one last one, I believe. All right, there. All right, we have been lucky so far. Uh, there's been uh, no spillage of blood. Everything feels okay. We're gonna tighten up the screws starting from the back. And then we're gonna tighten them up here in front. There's that one. That one. And that one. And that is all. Okay. That was fun. All right, so um, gonna have to wait a little bit with the system, with the um, with a video card, because I think a lot of the other things have to deal with uh, cables. All right, so. Uh, that one is straight, that one is angled. I'm going to use the angled one, like so. And that's going to go back to the hard drive. So this is the SATA data cable. Snaps in like that. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna tuck this cabling in like there. Now we're gonna have to start dealing with this. All right. Do the easy stuff. This is the easiest one. Uh, this is the... Uh, uh, where are you? There you are. Uh, this is the USB uh, 3 cable. Camera. There we go. Uh, this one just uh, snaps right in here. Okay, come on. It's a big cable. Uh, um, we'll uh, figure out a way of tying that up. All right. Um, this is the... Uh, um, where are you? Okay, so this is the system uh, fan, or the case fan. Uh, that's a three pin. Uh, system fan two there is a four pin. Uh, let's see what else I have. Uh, motherboard. Uh, motherboard manual, uh, system fan one and system fan two. Uh, 
All right, that's also a four pin. Uh, hey. So let's just uh, get some of this uh, stuff out of the way. Oh, that's what they are. Okay. Um, was there a third one? I didn't. I didn't catch that until like right now. There's these little brackets on the side over here. Okay. Uh, these brackets, uh, those are for the uh, two and a half inch drives, whether they are um, SSDs or uh, regular spindle drives. And they just attach here on the side of the case. And they can screw them in wherever you want. Um, there's two, I see two. I thought there was, there was three. So you can really, there's like, there's space for, there's space for four. Uh, it only comes with three, but I mean, you're gonna need a SATA controller if you wanna put that many drives in here. There's only, Two SATA ports, as I said. All right, gonna get that out of the way. All right, so um, system fan. Uh, system fan is gonna go on over there on those three pins. Um, this is my favorite. Uh, this is, uh, the power button and all that good stuff. Um. Is that all there was? That one? Oh, what's this? Here we go. Uh, this is the audio. Uh. Where is the audio? So I'm gonna try not to, again, uh, lean in. So there's, oh, that's all the way here at the top front. Uh, goes in this way. Uh, right up there. Okay. So we're going to need to tighten up these. Um, we'll worry about that a little bit later. Uh, depends on where the... Not sure which side the window is going to be on. We can try and Let's see if we can wire some up here. Not like that. This one is too short. So that one's just going to have to go. Uh, that's for later. All right. Uh, let's do the fun one. Which is this. All right. It's going to be a little bit twisting back and forth here. Because I got to find out what those, which pin is what. Uh, 
that is power. Okay. That is really weird. Oh, okay. There, of course, uh, there's more SATA ports over here. There's four SATA ports over there and there's two over here. All right. Uh, I feel better. All right, now the only thing that confuses me is what's the difference between... Uh, what's SATA and what's A SATA? Because that makes a difference. Because I don't think these are enabled. Uh, it's going to make a whole ton of difference. First off, I'm not going to be using that cable. Second off. Uh, uh, nope. What is an A SATA slot? Gonna try that. All right. All right. Uh, Reddit does not always come to yours. Uh, all right, so a little bit of on the fly, uh, a little bit of on the fly research. Uh, the uh, I'm going to use the, the different static cable. Um, uh, the uh, the A SATA ports appears to be using the same channel as uh, the M2 drive thus they may be disabled um, if you're using an m2 drive which i am okay so now because i put these cables in already it's gonna get a little hotter <laughs> all right right. Uh... So we're going to put this in. Uh, oh man, that's an awkward angle. Looks like it goes in this way. Okay, that's SATA 1. Oh, actually, no, that's not. That's uh, SATA 0. Okay. Fixed. Uh, of course, we have some cable management thing we need to take care of. Uh, we'll just tuck that in there for now. Okay. And now the fun part, which is... Let me see if I can... Turn this around. 
Now see, can we see? Yeah, we can see that. Okay. All right, so that's called the front panel header. It's called the, the front panel header. I'm going to try and look in from the side here. And there is no way I can read. There's no way I can read any of that. I'm going to have to turn this around so I can get my face in it. See if I can read. I'm going to bring in some extra light courtesy of my phone. All right. Okay, so there's uh, a couple of pins missing, and that's going to help me identify what's what. So let's see. It goes like this. Uh, the pins are laid out um, like this. So the this is 19, and that's 20. Um, Uh, power LED, power LED is these three. We're going to find that. Hard drive, power LED is split, okay. Uh, plus and minus. Uh, power LED. Mm. That is awesome. The positive one is this one. And either of the other ones are negative. So we're going to put that in there. All right, see how that works out. Uh, hard drive activity LED, the first two. Sorry, my hand's on the way. Uh, the reset switch is right next to the uh, hard drive power led what why is there two power led I'm going to take those out of there and I'm going to move them over. Power LED plus is number two. Just this one. Which is the first one over here. And this is power LED negative. Those on that one. Okay. Power switch is the next two. And uh, that goes on. Like. Like so. 
it says plus and minus, but there's no indication of plus and minus on the cable, so I'm going to assume that's fine. Um, so the three wires down here, um, the three pins by that back here, that's for the secondary power LED. I don't know why. I guess if you have a case with uh, three for the power LED, then that's it. Uh, the four on the back is for the speaker. Um, there's no speaker. So that takes care of uh, hooking up the front panel. So now we can start with some more fun, which is uh, all right. Does this one just? Yeah, okay, that one comes off. All right, so we're gonna put the video card in. Uh, video card and we'll take the first two on the over here And then the Wi-Fi, I uh, will take the next one. Right here. I think I'm going to put the video card in first. All right, so um, video card, um, plenty of space. Um, there's a protector on the uh, bus. We're going to take that off. And then we're going to put it over here. Line everything up. Snap everything in place. Okay. I don't think we need to fasten this with one screw. Huh? I'm gonna put the second one in as well, just to uh, just to have a place to store the screw. Okay, so now we got the video card in. Uh. I got this rinky dinky tiny little um, uh, Wi Fi card, which is going to go in right next to it here. Uh, come on. There you go. All right. I feel like I have more screws now than I had when I started. I'm going to screw this in. All right. Um, 
we're not going to do the cable management just just yet. Uh, one of the cables. Uh, one of the cables uh, for the card here is uh, is this USB cable? Any difference in the cables? No. The ends are both the same. Uh, okay. okay. And we're going to plug this into USB 1 right here. a little tight so I don't know I feel that's cheating a little bit uh, the way it seems to work is basically this provides the Wi-Fi signals whatever uh, but it's just uh, it's taking up a USB port and uh, um, Sending all your data traffic onto the onto the USB bus, so I don't know. It just feels rather than sending it the, the the thing through the PCI, it's going a back roads way through USB. Uh, that seems a little cheaty, uh, but hopefully it will work out. Okay. Um, it's getting hot in here. This is the hottest room in the house. Um, I'm gonna crank the AC. Okay. So... I think that is pretty much it. The only thing we haven't hooked in right now are all the it's the power cables uh, to feed power to the board, um, the card, and uh, the hard drive. So let's do that. So we have. All these cables, we're going to start with a big one. Okay, so that's the big one. I need uh, one U, uh, we need one uh, SATA power. I need the uh, CPU power. Come on, man. There we go. And I need, see, that's SATA. That's uh, Molex. And that is VGA. Okay. That is interesting. Oh, okay. Um... Ah, for Pete's sake, come on. So... Really? CPU... 
set up power. They're really cranking them out here. All right, so um, uh, the reason for the uh, what the what the the um, uh, VGA power cable has uh, two on it. Uh, obviously, uh, for an SLI or other dual card configurations, um, I wish. There was a cable for uh, not going that way, uh, but there isn't. So I guess that's a boohoo. All right, we're gonna flip it upside down. And uh, kind of this way, I guess. Gonna start uh, with uh, the motherboard one. I am a little unclear on. Process motherboard, and this one says motherboard B3. All right, so you can't see that, anyways. All right, so we're gonna start with the motherboard cable. I'm gonna plug that into the CPU, uh, into the uh, power supply. And it comes in two parts. Uh, sure, there's a reason for that. All right, so this is the big power cable for the motherboard. Uh, the next cable over right here is the one that says CPU. Um, okay, so uh, the cables are labeled, of course. Uh, it says uh, CPU on here, and then it says uh, B3. Now, uh, that's the name of the power supply. Uh, so um, this end goes in the power supply, and this end that's split uh, goes for the CPU uh, power. I worry um, if that's long enough, but we'll find out. There's ways to route it. Okay, uh, so that's the power for that. Uh, VGA power is over here. Come on. There it goes. And the last one is for uh, SATA power. I'm going to put that. All right, I'm going to put that right here. Uh, and this one only needs to go uh, right next door to the drive. I can see that from there. Uh, but the, the hard drives are right next door to the power supply. I'm gonna pop that in. Uh, automatic cable management in that we have to put that anywhere. Uh, okay. All right. We're gonna push all these things through. All 
I'm going to put the bottom on. I don't need to get in there anymore. Again, with the thumb screws. And just uh, screw that in. All right. There's the fan. Okay. I'm going to wait with the big motherboard one because that one's going to go furthest or shortest, I mean. And I don't want that to block up the access for the other ones so there's this one and this one and this one now this is the uh, One for the video card. It's a three pin, so we're not gonna need the second part of it. We got power to the video card. And I have to find a way to deal with that. Okay, this is the CPU power. Uh, CPU power is way over here. Uh, really isn't an easy way of showing that but there's a four port plug right there goes with the well, it's an eight port uh, goes with these guys uh, I'm gonna have to flip it over so I can I can see All right, so I'm thinking it's gonna go in like that, and this in like this. Okay. Just give me a second here. All right. And then there's only one cable left. Um, and that's the big jack. Uh, it goes down uh, right here behind the memory. Okay, and it has the clip on the outside. So, should go in like this. And voila, that's it. That's all the parts. Everything is in, everything is connected except the Wi Fi antenna. There's going to be some requirement for some cable management. Um, Um, I'm a little curious as to where I would put the... Is there a difference between the side panels? Okay, that's the top panel sitting there by itself. Now the question is... Um, do I want to see this side? 
through the window? Or do I want to see this side through the window? I mean, this is... This is kind of the ugly side, isn't it? With all the cables. Uh, so I think we're going to put... I don't think it matters. I think the side panels are all the same. Well, all. There's only two, but any which way. Putting that in there. Okay. I'm going to put the side panel on with the window. Here. All right, then we can see in, we can see the CPU, um, hold on. Hey, you can see my reflection in the window too. That was unintentional, but at least I'm dressed, so. There's that. It's not like I tried to stay out of it, but also not. I think that's going to be the best view, uh, but it is going to depend on uh, how this is going to sit and whether or not anyone actually cares to look in. I don't care to look in. I don't know if there's any uh, light effect on the um, video card or not. Uh, it's a gaming motherboard. It is possible that there are some LEDs on there that I didn't pay attention to. Again, that stuff I don't really care about. So whatever it is. Uh, here you can see the, the brackets uh, for the uh, small hard drives. Um, I guess if you put something in there, uh, you may not want to put the window on that side. Um, again, that's... Um, a personal matter and then the top top will go on here like so and it has to, I, I like this idea this uh, filter mat um, all right, I do have as a leftover from another build. Um, another fan. Where's the arrows? Uh, why are there no arrows? There's supposed to be arrows to indicate uh, rotation speed, uh, rotation direction, and wind direction. I guess there are none on this. Uh, this came in the case, so maybe that's why I didn't care to put it on here. Um, Uh, but I guess it would be kind of cool to put that in here. Uh, I may have to move the brackets, these brackets, though, to fit that because it's a uh, 140. Uh, and that won't fit as it stands with these guys. Uh, so, uh, but I'll check on that later. Um, that's just going to be an addition. Um, well, that's gonna be um, that's gonna be it for the show. Um, took a little longer than I thought it would, uh, mostly because the I didn't see the uh, bottom panel coming off, 
and that caused some headaches with the power supply and then there was that mystery PSU rubber thingy um, that also solved itself once you got the bottom out uh, but everything else is pretty much straightforward uh, there is uh, room for one more card if I need it but uh, since I did find the rest of the setup ports I think we're good we shouldn't need anything more in here uh, I'm gonna work some more on this uh, off stream and uh, get it going and then uh, we'll see what comes out with after that uh, but that's gonna be it for uh, today uh, I'm gonna go get some food and uh, take a break and then maybe I'll be back with some video games later on uh, but for right now uh, this is uh, game over all right have a good day people